Happy Sunday. As soon as we are born and we enter this plane, consciousness, parts of us begin to die. That is the cycle of life. Birth, death, rebirth. To live is to suffer. I, I, that seems like a very true statement for me. Um, but also, I think to live is to experience would be more accurate. Suffering, I, I think, that in a sense, the you know, with the more awake you are, suffering is optional. It's to understand the experience. The experience is life. To live is to experience the contingencies and the judgments that we put on our experiences. Those are based on a history. And I talked about this a little bit yesterday. They're either clouded by the history we remember, and more and more, it's evident that it's clouded by the history we don't. So whether you believe in, you know, past lives or karma or, you know, you don't remember the trauma of, a ch of, of your childhood, but you hold it in parts of your body and your body remembers, uh, or your lower back always hurts when you're in pain because you put all your pain there and the body remembers. There's a great book about that. Um, the body keeps the score. I forget the author's name. Um, So, and this it, it draws back to, you know, our perception. My perception is this: is this situation in front of me the most horrible thing in the world, whatever the situation may be, or is it an opportunity? Life is. You can play life safe your whole. You. From, light, from birth to death, you can play it safe and never challenge yourself. That's option. That's an option. Um, will you have regret at the end of that journey? I, I don't know. I, I think for me to live, to challenge myself, to push myself in as many circumstances as I can, and not with the intent of being uncomfortable, but on the, with the intention to experience, to awaken to the next thing, to, yeah, to, I, I, to experience life, to live without regret, to commence to outgrow fear, fear of, you know, what, I, what I'm afraid I'm not gonna get, what I'm afraid, you know, I'm gonna lose, or, Just fear, fear of whatever, however you want to taint that word, or I don't know. It's a, but to live is <laughs> to encounter each moment um, authentically. You're not going to get everything you want. I mean, I would imagine even the person that has. All the money in the world, there's probably still something that they want and they think they can't get, or they're afraid of losing what they've got. Um, and you know, I think that's the what, what I have taken. What's taken me as long as it's taken me. So without judgment, it's just taken me as long as it's taken me to uh, to embrace gratitude gratitude for my experience not regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it but embrace where I've come and how I've been and who I've been to know who I am what I am how I serve and to know that I'm here and I've come here and I'm here for why I think that's the beautiful question life is risk that's my experience Risk emotionally, risk physically, maybe. But risk, it, it, I, 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 
the coasting, I don't understand. That's, I mean, I guess I, I do understand it. I just... And I do plenty of it, too. I coast in plenty of areas of my life, I'm sure. And and what I think is interesting is, you, you know, I, uh, there's a great book by uh, Ch uh, Chuck Chamberlain, like you see when you... Uh, a new pair of glasses. It's, it's like 12-step stuff, but... You don't. You, you see what you see when you see it. You know when you lose your wallet and it's or your keys, and then you know after circling your apartment for ten hours or two hours or forty-five minutes, and they're right in front of you, unable to see it. We're clouded by our own judgments, not able to see what is directly in front of us. At times, who's directly in front of us? why they are in front of us. What do they bring up? What do they inspire? Whether it's pain, um, they challenge us to grow. I mean, these are the, I don't know, I, I think like some of the fundamental um, amazing beauties of life that are tragic and, 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 uh, and painful, right? Because of course we want what we want what we want it. That's the child in me. That's the, I want it now. I want it two weeks ago. And I, I want it two weeks ago and I want, you know, and, and unfortunately by wanting it two weeks ago, I'm going to rob myself the experience of achieving it. The experiences between the process of the getting. I'm going to, I'm going to rob myself of the journey. And life is, you know, a journey. I love, you know, life is a marathon, man. And sometimes that the race ends too quickly. You always hear that. Life's too short. But when you're in it, every moment of it, breathing, experiencing each moment of each day, it can seem tenuously long. It can be Groundhog's Day in the greatest possible way, right? The, the beauty of that particular film is that he, once he realizes, once that character realizes the beauty of the moment and he can cherish and learn and, and he challenges himself to grow within the space of each breath and he becomes a well-rounded individual. Stories. Much love.